Review it. Scale of one to ten. One. Oh, ten is the best. One. I think it's an eight. Can you learn about survey design from this ninja creamy video? A lot. Did you see what happened there? She said, rate this on a scale from one to ten. And he rated it. She was like, wait, 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 wait. Ten is the best. And the minute I saw that, I was like, ooh, yes, because people do this in survey design all the time. Rate this on a scale from one to 10. Rate this on a scale from one to five, blah, 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 blah. You have to tell people what a one means and what a 10 means. Otherwise, maybe some people think one is the best. Maybe some people think 10 is the best. So when you get your results, you don't know. Were people thinking one was the best or 10 was the best? Or maybe some thought one was the best and some thought 10 was the best. Either way, your data is garbage. It's garbage. It's just garbage. Throw it out if you have a question that you use that looks like this. You have to define things. You want to know exactly what someone means when they click a one. If you haven't told them what a one means, you don't know what that answer means. Same with 10. Same with any other number between one and 10. So next time you go to design a survey and you're like, oh, I want people to rank this on a scale from one to 10, think about this video and think about oh yeah right i gotta tell people like is one the best or is one the worst and just do it it's so easy